How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Soundmagic E10's earbuds. Now these cost £35 and um, I've got them for a testing and all that and I was interested in them. So let's go ahead and take a look around the packaging. So this is the box that it comes, they come in. Um, now the only good thing, the only useful thing you need to see is on the side over here. I'll just show you it. So here are the specs. So you've got a 10 millimeter driver up to 22 kilohertz. Uh, yada 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 whatever and you got 1.2 meter cable uh, let's go ahead and open these up um, i have repackaged them i've be obviously been using them the packaging is very very nice as you can see from the back you can actually see them in there um, let's go ahead and take these out so there they are the Soundmagic E10s, you've got left and the right channel over here, maybe I packed them up a little bit wrong and then you've also got the cable down here, I got them in blue, you can get them in a quite a few different colours which is actually quite nice, uh, get them out of here, get these two layers, um, here are the earbuds, um, go ahead and untie the cable over here. Now also you do get a case, um, a carrying case, which will have the earbuds and everything inside. Let's go ahead and pull all of this away. I'm just going to go ahead and pack this back up. So here are the E10s. Um, they cost £35 and they come with quite a few accessories. You've got the cable, you've got the um, plug which is not right angled and it's a little bit slippery. So uh, they could use some improvement on that I guess because it's not rubberized. It's, um, metal and the whole thing is just metal uh, the wire i don't know what, what they use for that but it's a really nice quality wire as well you've got a paper uh, you've got a clip so you can clip that up um there's no inline remote maybe there is a version that you can get an inline remote for i mean with um and then you got this bit which if um, you can tighten up the whole thingy with i've just left it the way it is because i use that um you got the earbuds uh, let's go ahead and show you the earbuds so uh the left one actually has the m thingy on the back on it two music signs i mean <laughs> didn't see that um and this is l now on the right one you got right which is r and then at the back you have n uh, you have a e10 um so there's that um they're really really nice um they're made out of metal they're not the smallest you've ever f you'll ever see but these are pretty small um and they're really really light so it's easy to fit in your ear now let's see what you get in the carrying case. You get a lot of ear tips. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take them out and show you which ones you have. Because um, it's very important obviously. So quite a few of them over here as you can see. Quite impressed with what you get with them. Um, so uh, right now I have the smallest ones in on the E10s. And these have the widest um, inner diameter, I guess I can say, I don't know. Um, so you can see the driver the most. Now you can also see that there's other ones that have a smaller opening, so you won't see the driver as much. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how that improves anything, um, but I'm guessing this is the best way to listen. Um, so what you get is three sizes of each. I'll go ahead and separate them out. So you got the ones with a bigger hole, and then you got the ones with a smaller hole over here. You've also got these wacky looking ones. Uh, I'll just go ahead and group them all up. So you get the ones with a bigger hole opening and then you get the ones with a smaller hole opening. Um, so this is big, medium and I've got the small ones on on the earbuds. You've got the, with the smaller hole opening you've got the big, medium and the small. And then you get these ones which I think are better at noise cancelling or whatever. You've got like a double rubber thingy on them. Uh, I haven't really used them because they don't really fit into my ear. Um, the only ones that do fit are the small ones because my ear canals are small. So either those, these ones or the ones I've got on right now, they would fit me. But as you can see, you get quite a few of them. Um, so you've got everything to choose from. You've got also all different ear sizes. And you have obviously the carrying case which you, can, which you can put these into and you can have them with you all the time. And um, it's a really nice uh, way to carry these around, I think. So let's talk about the earbuds themselves and the sound quality. Now, I actually love the sound quality out of these. According to Soundmagics, you get audio engineer tuned bass. 
So they've hired audio engineer, a professional audio engineer, and they've kind of tuned the bass over the years to match what the best outcome is. And I have to say the bass on these is really, really nice. It's kind of um, soft. It doesn't have the most impact, not as much as the bare dynamic headphones or whatever, the, but the impact is definitely there. I think they've tuned it to be as realistic as possible. So if you go to a live concert, uh, obviously you have the drum kit. Um, now the only impact that you would hear um, in an, in a live concert would be um, from the kick or the really really low end bass from the kick on the drums and that's what you get with these the rest is just um, really nice smooth bassy sound which is not bad um, it's really really natural it's kind of well it's not natural but it's nice sounding it sounds really really nice I think um, as far as the bass goes you will sue everybody now uh, the mids uh, they're a little recessed just a just a slight little bit and i think they could have uh, been a little bit better by bringing them up a little bit um but it doesn't matter um the way that they sound is actually quite fine i'll get on to how they actually sound overall now the higher frequencies um these have a lot of sparkle to the higher frequencies what you would hear is a lot of them and i think that's what makes these in this price range right now my favorite earbuds because i'm into higher frequencies and these display them really really well not like well not display produce them really really well the whole sound overall is not really smooth it's a little bit sharp um but the higher frequencies do have a really nice sparkle to them and i do really really like that they're quite clear as well in terms of how they sound overall i think they sound really really well the sound stage is wide as flip and the imaging is really really nice as well I've got my notes here which I haven't apparently taken out. Detail is really really nice. Um, as I mentioned they got a little bit of a V-shaped signature to them so the mids could be improved just a little bit. A 1.2mm cable um, and as I put them into my ear canals unlike the, the Bluetooth ones that I've used from some next level company these actually don't push air into my ears so they don't really hurt my ears. They're just like the Byron's they fit in really really nicely. They're very very comfortable really really light. I do really really like them and I can wear them for a really long time. Now if you compare these to 50mm driver headphones proper monitors I do find that with these and also the Bay Dynamic Byrons, they're, they're a little muddy, just a tiny bit little, uh, just a tiny bit muddy, but I can clearly tell that they are. Now, I'm not sure why that is, both of or everything I've tried with these, in this price range or in this kind of earbud style, as of right now, they're all muddy compared to proper 50mm drivers, and I wish I could get the same kind of sound quality out of earbuds that i get with those big headphones because that would be really really nice so overall it's just lacking a tiny bit of clarity in the mids but um the sound is it does sound really really nice i was really impressed with the sound stage they do they does get really really wide um now one thing i will say is the noise cancelling is not as good as the byron's it's probably like 75 percent which means everything does get isolated out but if you do concentrate you can probably hear everything and the music obviously takes over it but if somebody talks right next to you uh, you'll be able to hear them kind of mumbling um not an issue they're really really quiet it's just i'm a really picky user a listener i mean and so i can hear all that but for to the average user out, out, out and about you'll be perfectly fine with them uh, the noise isolation may not be the best but it's actually pretty good i'm quite impressed with you know for the price um, i think they do a really good job now i do think that the right boots do have the little hole at the bottom um, i'm guessing that's the microphone oh no they both do have the hole um i don't know maybe that's what make, makes the sound quality less isolated or whatever but overall i think these are really really good if you're definitely into uh, looking for earbuds now i haven't really tried out the kz something something weird ass company um but i have looked into them they're cheaper but i haven't really tried them so i can't really compare them to that but compared to the bay dynamic byron's uh, obviously i have another video comparing the two these ones in my opinion are much better they're well balanced uh, a lot more balanced actually especially in the high frequencies it does sound really really nice um so overall if you're looking for earbuds in this price range i do recommend these ones although i can't really compare them to everything else in the same price range because i don't have every other thing um so for now uh, yes these are highly recommended i'll leave a link in the description if you want to go buy them um so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in another video check out the description uh, i think i do recommend these they're quite nice